What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog it is your boy snow tv coming at you with a new video today and to kick this one off let me make sure that i mention that you should hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below and turn that notification bell on so you know when i post my next video in today's video we're going to go over why i think i'd be a good candidate to join sword gaming um we're going to go through the pros and cons of why i believe i would be good and or bad for sword gaming yes that's right in mine I am going to actually say why it might not be a good idea to pick me up, but you know what? At least I'm being honest and real about it, so stay tuned while we get into this. I think I'd be a good pickup for Sword because for one, I've enjoyed the team and all around the members of Sword Gaming for a very long time. Um, I know a lot of kids enjoy FaZe and like Optic and you know, teams like that, um, but honestly, I felt like I connected more watching the streamers and the vloggers and content creators from Sword than I did, uh, say like, FaZe Rain. Not that I don't like FaZe Rain, I do like FaZe Rain, but I feel like I just, I had more in common and I had the same kind of outlook on things. Uh, the same way that a lot of the Swore members do, or at least the way they portray they do in their videos, which I don't know why they would need to portray themselves as any different than how they really feel, but you never know. Uh, so yeah, that's number one. I think that's that's one of the reasons why I think I would belong with uh, everyone in Swore and just kind of go together and zen together. Um, another reason I would say is I'm very, very dedicated. Uh, I've been grinding for Sore for a long time. Uh, whether this is an RC or not, I don't care. For those of you that don't know what an RC is, it is a recruitment challenge where uh, they get together and they look at everybody in the community that's going for the recruitment challenge and they pick some winners who they like, who they think can progress and benefit Sore and themselves and just everyone around them. Uh, and honestly, I feel like I'd be a really good fit for that. I'm always grinding for Soar. Everything on my Twitter has to do with Soar. If I'm tweeting out 9 times out of 10, it has something to do with Soar. Um, I watch all the Soar tweet, uh, the Soar members tweets. I watch all their videos. Shout out Bowza. I love Bowza. Uh, he's probably like my number one favorite Soar member, honestly. And him dropping a like and uh, comment uh, one of my previous YouTube videos is just amazing for my Soar RC response. Thank you so much, Bowser, if you're watching this. Nuda, I would have to say, is probably neck and neck with Bowser for me. Um, <coughs> Max. I like Max a lot. I, I love his vlogs because they're so chill. And just like the tone of his voice is so like, it's like a monotone, but it's like a good relaxing vibe monotone. And I love watching his videos. It's like a straight fanboy right now because, you know what, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Sore fanboy at heart. Like, at heart, my heart belongs to Sore Gaming and everybody in Sore Gaming. Uh, I love you guys so much. You are amazing content creators, you're amazing streamers, you have amazing uh, clips, you have amazing graphics, you have amazing, just everything is amazing. Uh, and the fact that most of the Sore members actually will interact with you on Twitter or Twitch or YouTube is just really big. You know, I think a lot of big time YouTubers and stuff like that, they forget about that. Uh, they have to interact with the fans, you know, not just other pro people around you. Uh, and I really like that they actually pay attention to the little guy like me. So, yeah, I guess that's reason number two. That's a really long reason, but that was probably like three or four reasons together. Uh, another reason is I literally wake up and most people wake up and they go to the bathroom, right? And then they get ready for work. I wake up, grab my phone, check Soar on Twitter, check Soar on YouTube, check Bowser. He's usually streaming because, you know, that late night fuck. He's always streaming light. I can't do a, I can't do an invitation voice at all, but... Uh, and I usually slap him a host at least say hey, what's going on? How you doing? What's up with that sore merch? Uh, which he hinted at in the stream last night uh, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know if he was supposed to or not, but uh, it's gonna be sick if you guys Haven't like been paying attention crudes actually tweeted out that they are going to be dropping this new uh, sore merch here really soon Hopefully along with the RC as well. They're teasing that RC RC or not doesn't matter We're still grinding for sore day in and day out um, another reason that I think I would be good with Soar 
Um, you know, just I have the same goals. Like I said, I have the same goals and the same mindset uh, as everybody in SOAR. And that's why I feel like I would connect the best with people from SOAR uh, rather than like, not that I don't like these other teams I'm about to name, but like FaZe or Optic or, you know, Obey or Dare. I love all those teams. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I don't have the same like point of view as a lot of the people in those teams. Uh, but with SOAR, you know, just literally everything they say i literally just like agree with like <laughs> like a robot bro it's it's crazy i love it uh sore shaker i love this thing i absolutely love this thing it is a beast absolutely fire uh gamma labs g fuel they killed it on that just killed it um but yeah um now i don't I don't really want to talk about why I don't think I would fit in SOAR, but you know what? I said in the beginning of the video we would, so let's do it. So I think a reason I wouldn't fit in SOAR, um, you know, I don't have a huge online presence uh, on Twitter. You know, I have like 5,000 followers, maybe like 20 actives. Um, you know, I don't... You know, I have, at the time of making this video, like 532 Twitch followers on my brand newest Twitch. Um, you know, it's not a lot. I'm not even close to partner. I just need the average viewers, which I think I'm at like 10.9 out of 75. You know, we're grinding daily, but I'm not partnered. Um, I average, you know, I average a decent amount of viewers. I do have live chatters. I don't just have people that come by and say, hi, I'm going to lurk you. I do have active chatters. I have very, very, very loyal followers. Uh, a couple of them. Uh, Derek Murray is a very loyal follower. Uh, Electric, very loyal. Uh, Drew was here. He's grinding for Dare. Hashtag Dare Drew. Um, but, you know, outside of that, I don't really have, like... A super big amount of viewers all the time so I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't have the clout that maybe sore would like um, and honestly it makes me sad that I don't because I feel like if I did like I see some of these guys that have you know like oh I'm gonna grind for sore just because the RC is coming up and they have you know 200 likes and 50 to 100 retweets on their stuff within like 36 minutes and you know it kind of makes me sad but I think at the end of the day, Crude, Mac, Nuda, Bowza, Shifty, all of them, uh, even Drake, I almost forgot Drake, uh, will make the right decision and know that these guys are just, you know, they're, yeah, they have actives, but this guy's loyal. This guy's dedicated. He's who we want. Yeah, this guy will spread our name, but this guy's going to be in the team for a long, long, long time and that's who I want to be. I want to be the guy that's the underdog that gets his shot to blow and grow with the team, not just myself. Personally, between you and me, keep this a secret, okay? It's just between you and me. Within three years of streaming, I have made a total of $13. Most people would have quit by now. I've never even received a Twitch paycheck. Usually I'll get like $60, but yeah, I don't make the hundred dollar threshold to get my Twitch paycheck, and I'm still not quitting. Like I am still here every day on this computer, on my phone, just everything, living and breathing for sore. Like biggest fanboy in the world. Um, so <laughs> one more con I would say for me not joining sore would be. Well, actually, I'm going to throw clips into the first one. I don't hit a lot of clips. I'm mostly a streamer, but I when I do hit clips, I do upload, and I try to upload as much as I can. Um, but as much as you know, I do have a life. Um, but we still find time to stream every single night, like five hours. But uh, <laughs> Which brings me to the next con, uh, con number two. Because I do have a wife, I have a house, I have bills... I work 40 plus hours a week. I have two children. You know, sometimes when I get home from work, I don't want to stream. That doesn't mean I'm not out, you know, creating graphics or watching YouTube videos on Soar or going through old vlogs or just, you know, doing something. I'm doing something. I just, 
I might not stream that night, and I think that could kill my chances getting in as a streamer. Um, don't get me wrong, I will take a night off. I'm not gonna take like you know three days off consecutively and shit and stuff like that. Like everybody deserves a break. Even at a regular full-time job, I get two days off a week, Saturday and Sunday. Those are usually the days I grind the hardest. But during the week, like tonight's Wednesday, I'm exhausted for all the way since last Wednesday. I've been up since 1 a.m., you know, streaming from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. and going to work. Like, so I do sometimes take Wednesday night off just because I'm so tired midweek. Um, and that's usually when we upload as we are right now. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that could be a con for me joining. And I really want to fix that, but... Crude Mac, you gotta understand, bro. Everybody needs a day off, bro. <laughs> I know, I know. If if any sort of executives are sitting here and watching this, by the way, you're looking really good today. I know you guys are saying right now, like, no, there's no days off. I understand that, and like I said, even when I don't stream, I still am uploading some kind of content, getting something out there. Uh, I recently had to restart my YouTube channel after my 2.4K channel was hacked and stolen like a month and a half ago. By the way, thank you YouTube suppo uh, support for never getting back to me about my emails regarding that. That kind of sucks, but... So we're growing a new one. It's doing alright. You know, it's not doing bad. Uh, I'm really happy with the growth and I hope that Sword can see that I am putting effort into my videos. I'm learning how to do thumbnails. I'm learning how to do intros. Uh, by the way, what did you guys think of that intro? At the beginning of the video drop in the comments below and let me know please i would love to get feedback on that intro i love it i love it i love it um but you know i'm always out here just trying to do something um you know i just at the end of the day i like the name soar i like the logo i like the look i like the colors the jerseys are freaking oh they are fire bro straight fire any sore merch is fire i'm not gonna lie if i ever get in sore i'm getting that sore chain if they still have them i don't even know if they still have them but uh i seen some vlogs that like a little chain like that kind of like face has it's that sore oh my god Whew. yeah got me burning up already i think it's so hot dude oh my god anyways <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing track. I'm just kind of rambling on. That's how much I love Sora. I could literally sit here and talk about it for just hours, you guys. Hours. You don't even understand. Like, hours. And people around me are like, who is Sora? What is that? And I'm like, hang on real quick. That's Sora. And they're like, you're trying to get in there? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, good luck. And that's what fuels me to do the best that I can do is people that doubt me. I love people that doubt me because the more you doubt me, the harder I work to prove you wrong. And honestly, I tweet out all the time, turn haters into motivators. And I seriously fucking live by that. Like, I get hate mail all the time in my DMs saying, you're not good for sore. You'll never be in sore. You know, you, were, you shouldn't have even been in Regal Reserve. You're this and that and this and that and just... You know what I do? I turn around and I make a video about it, and then I get views, and then I stream, and then I get views, and then I go watch sword videos, and I'm happy again. So, yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, drop down in the comments below, let me know if you like the intro, comment hashtag sword snow. Um, again, if any sword executives are watching this video, I appreciate the time for you taking uh, out of your very long and stressful days. Um, I know what they got with your move that you just did to the new sore house. Um, I know you guys are very, very busy, so I appreciate if you did take the time out of your days uh, to just watch this video and kind of listen one on one on why personally I think sore snow should definitely happen in 2019. And I'm just letting you know whether there's a sore RC or not, I'm still going to grind for sore. It does not matter. The grind does not stop ever. And you can count on that. Like I said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, turn that notification bell on, hit the subscribe button, drop down in the comments below, and comment hashtag source snow. I'm out. See you later.